Hey, yeah, what's up, bro? It's your boy Cannon, bro. Night, bro. Today, we're gonna be right into the Odd Ones Out touring together. Yeah, it's been a minute since I did the Odd One Out video, so we gotta go ahead and get into it. Hey, Europeans! We're doing the Scribble Shot on tour in your country in right now! Dublin, you get a second show, because I like it that much. Check out Scribble Shot on. Hello. Come to get your tickets. As some of you may okay, know, Jaden has already made a video about the Scribble Showdown tour me, her, Domix, Ross, and Aaron went on in 2019. But we toured again, baby, last November. We were scheduled to go earlier, but then something came up. For this round of touring, we did more than double the amount of shows than last time, so that means this video will be twice as good as Jaden's. <laughs> so touring the shade is real. during a global pandemic was a lot of fun. Anytime we had a day off, everyone on the crew had to take a rapid test, and people coming to the shows needed a proof of vaccine to get inside. And worst of all, we weren't able to say hi to people after the show. That's I know up. a lot of people waited. Bro, this up, bro. I want to see your fake creating game say hi to him after the show. I know they got to hurt. Outside in the cold for us to come out, only to see us at a distance load ourselves into the bus and our DJs going, Sorry! We're, we're not allowed. We have to stay in our bubble. Before the tour even started, we had a big problem. Domix couldn't get his Canadian visa approved to come work in the U.S., so he was unable to tour with us. But luckily, we no. found a sub for Dom, someone who loved maple syrup just as much as Dom and was willing to drop everything and tour with us for a whole month, Emily from the channel Emerichu. And she killed it on stage, like straight up murder. She was super funny, artistic, and she drew these awesome pictures of all of us and just, I'm not crying, shut up. <laughs> when Ross met Emily, the very first thing he said to her was, hello, touring's going to be so fun. Just don't sleep the wrong way on the bus because if it crashes, you'll break your neck and die painfully. Oh God. Also, you're not allowed to poop on the bus. <laughs> I would know. Fortunately, no one pooped or broke their neck during the whole tour. And I still haven't pooped. Your body adapts <laughs> wait, to crazy wait, things. Wait, 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 wait. your neck during the whole tour. <laughs> and I still haven't pooped. Your body adapts to crazy things. <laughs> during the last tour, Ross couldn't control his bowels, but this time he couldn't control his brain. He had what he describes as intense, debilitating nightmares that felt like a Nintendo 64 rumble pack was added to the experience. And if you want to hear more about what Ross's twisted mind thought up of when he was unconscious, then go check out the video he made on his channel. But not now, because I'm talking. <laughs> so, on this tour, I wanted to be better at taking photos. You know, the reason I don't have a vlogging channel is because I forget to film anything that happens on my trips. And as I was taking a photo of a venue, I found- I'm not gonna lie, I'd be doing the same thing. I'd be like, man, I ain't got time for that. I wanna go play. I found out that my phone could do something called Photosphere. The Disney Bundle is my one-stop shop for my favorite content. Disney Plus. Photospheres are full 360-degree photos that show you everything at every angle. Here's a picture of the venue, and here's what the ground looked like. They're the superior way of taking photos. I took a photosphere of every venue. Hey, you know what else is round and cool? <laughs> That's a great question. It's the type of question we got asked in our VIP Q&A panel. Before every show, the five of us would go out and do a Q&A panel for the people who bought VIP tickets. And 93.75% of the Q&As were absolutely fine. One time, someone asked a question that was directed at their fiance, and it was, will you marry me? <sighs> I'm gonna take a photosphere of this. Hold on, you'll need to stay still for like two minutes. I wish that question was directed at me. I would have loved to kiss someone on tour. Anyways, one of the cues we got was a little odd. I'm not gonna tell you which show this was at, but it was in Florida because of course it was. There was one guy in the audience wearing a suit who was reaching his hand so high up that his butt was out of his chair and he was visibly shaking with excitement. So given how urgent this guy was being, Aaron called on him, but now we know not to call on those types of people. Uh, you in the suit. The guy stands up screaming, yes, thank you. And he goes on a long winded explanation saying, look, I'm 26 years old. I'm not getting any younger. I want to do what you do. Uh, okay. What's your question? My question is that I want to make a bet with all of you that in one year, I'm going to be up on stage with you performing at Scribble Showdown. I wanted to say, 
I bet a million dollars because they're not holding auditions. But instead, <laughs> I said, I love your enthusiasm. That's great. But don't quantify your success into a certain time frame because that's only going to set yourself up for failure. Especially on the internet, growing an audience takes time and luck. Nothing is ever guaranteed. And we told them good luck and started answering other cues. And then at the end of the q and I... I would not go lie. If I would have saw that, I would have like... I would not go back to hold it in. I would have been too busy looking like... Oh, damn. As we were walking off stage, the guy screamed out, See you in a year! And that made me upset because he didn't listen to anything I just said. <laughs> to his credit, he'll definitely be remembered. Not in the way he wants to, but remembered. And he's coming on tour with us next year, so be on the lookout for that. Another fun fan interaction that happened was in the freezing state of Chicago. We arrived in Chicago, Chicago. a day early, so me and Emily decided to walk to The Bean. Now, I have been told that The Bean is not called The Bean, and the artist actually wants it to be called something else. So as we walked up to The Bean, I kept chanting, It's The Bean! It's The Bean! I took some photospheres, and as we started to leave, we passed another group who were chanting, It's The Bean! It's The Bean! <laughs> and I thought, wow, those guys are annoying. But then they made eye contact with me through The Bean's reflection and were like, Oh my god! Are you James? And I said, Who? And then someone saw Emily and said, Oh my god! It's Jaden! <laughs> I started laughing, and I pointed to my Scribble Showdown jacket. No, no, no. It's this one. Not this one. This one. But I don't think they understood, because when we were taking a group photo, one of them said, Jaden should go in front. And I said, yeah, Jaden, come over here. <laughs> so on the last tour, Aaron had just gotten into Magic the Gathering, which is a card game I've been playing longer than him. Back then, I had to explain some of the rules and show him the pro gamer strats. But during 2019 to 2021, Aaron got really into magic. He knows the name of every single card and what it does. Like, I'll pull a card from a pack and he'll be like, Oh, nice. Branching evolution. That's like a worse doubling season. But you could combo it with the Colossal Dreadmaw and the Truffle Mixer. No, the Truffle Mater and get Gary out on turn five. Gary's what the community calls the Grey Apostle. Nerd. At one of the venues we stayed at, I noticed that there was a random two of diamonds glued to the ceiling. So I says to Aaron, hey Aaron, say a card, any card. Seven of clubs. No, lower. Three of clubs. Lower. Two of clubs. Okay, now change the suit. Two of diamonds. Now, you chose that card, right? Okay. <laughs> Look up. But then Aaron bought a deck of playing cards and performed a card trick that forced someone to pick the two of diamonds. And then Aaron would tell them to look up saying, is that your card? What? And because of that, Aaron started to learn other card tricks and would try them out on people. So I don't want to take any credit for Aaron's hobbies, but I totally got him into magic and I got him into magic. Mm. While we were on tour, we got invited to be a part of Jacksepticeye's hashtag thankmas livestream that was raising money to build homeless shelters. And on stream, Aaron had this crazy idea that if we reached our goal, he would kiss one of us. And then we reached our goal and then nothing notable happened. Mm. If this show sounds like a lot of fun and you wanna come see all of us play drawing games live, and you live in Europe, then great news! We have a Europe tour scheduled for April. Get your tickets on the Scribble Showdown website, and next time we plan on touring in the States again, I'll, I'll let you know. But for now, thank you everyone who came to a show, unless you live in Brooklyn. Thank you all for watching, and thank you everyone on the Real Good Touring team who babysat us for a month and made this show possible. Touring with you was a blast. And now, I'm going back to sleep on my tour bus coffin, facing the correct way while repressing my urge to poop. And golly, I sure do hope I don't get any nightmares. Right, Bunk Buddy Ross? Ross? I haven't slept in 11 days. <laughs> All right, James. Are you ready for this? Ah. Uh, I got that. I was going to say, that's only happening one time. Hey, everyone. Oh, my God. <laughs>